Ashet Audio presents May Day, written by Nelson DeMille and Thomas Block, read by Scott Brick. Introduction. This audiobook is not intended for in-flight listening. If you're listening to this on an aircraft, turn off your audiobook device. Find something else to listen to or read, something less terrifying. May Day was first published in 1979 under the name of Thomas Block, my childhood friend and a U.S. Airways captain. I had helped Tom with the book, and in 1998, Tom and I rewrote May Day, and it was published under both our names. If you listen to the editor's note about the authors in the book, you'll hear some other background about how this book came to be written and about how the collaboration came about. Why the rewrite? because a great deal of the technology that was depicted in the 1979 edition had changed by 1998, and we wanted to get the exciting new technology into this high-tech thriller. Also, the political and social landscape had changed, and that, too, needed some updating. As, for instance, a lot of characters in the 1979 edition smoked, and they smoked everywhere. Well, by 1998, they all quit. Also... The stewardesses became flight attendants, and we made other changes, some subtle and some not so subtle, regarding the characters' job titles, gender relations, and other social and job-related issues. What amazed us as we rewrote and updated the book, however, was how much had not changed in the twenty years between the original and the update. Some things, like treachery, bravery, love, and the will to survive, never change. And we see all of this in a smoke-free environment. May Day was made into a CBS TV movie of the week in 2005, starring Aidan Quinn and Kelly Hu. It aired on October 2nd during primetime and received excellent reviews and a very high Nielsen rating. If you saw the movie, I'm sure you'll agree that it was one of the better made-for-network TV movies that has aired in recent times. And Quinn, Hu, and the entire cast did a great job of bringing this book to life. A movie never follows the book completely. There is just not enough running time to work in all the subplots. But May Day the movie did capture the terror of a mid-air disaster with cinematic accuracy and a fine screenplay. The movie history of May Day before it was a TV movie is interesting. When it was first published in 1979, it came to the attention of Stephen King, who read it and loved it. Sample complete. Ready to continue?